Hello everybody, my name is Belicht and welcome back. And also, I am back, finally. I mean, I still have a bloody eye from the surgery. But uh, it is getting better, man. Uh, in the first... Oh, let's be careful. In the first week after the surgery, I looked like I got a, a zombie infection, a virus or something. It was bad, but uh, our... Uh, my uh, bloody eyes is getting healed and the doctor said that uh, it's gonna take another like, you know, two or three weeks for it to fully heal. Oh my god, a bear. Let's be careful. Alright, so I'm gonna talk about the story of my surgery in a bit. But the good news is that I can finally see normally again, man. Holy crap. I, you know, I cannot put it in a word how like happy I am. But... Okay, so let, let us first uh, discuss about the today's plan. Uh, we are going to the uh, third town. I think it's it was around there. And uh, hoping that uh, we are going to be finding uh, a working stiff tool store so that we can get, uh, you know, for a chance to find some mechanical parts. We already found uh, two mechanical parts. And we only need two more in order for us to craft the wrench. And if we craft the wrench... Man, that's gonna be, you know, elevate us to the next level. Uh, we can start using our stun buttons because we can craft the repair kits for it. And then we can, you know, clearly, you know, clear out the POIs in the winter biome back at home. But for now, I feel like I don't think it's a good idea for us to go into high tier POIs, especially in the winter biome with... Oh my... Good. Hey, morning, man. God damn it. Hey. Jim Binky. I don't think it's a good idea for us to go into uh, uh, high tier POIs, especially in the winter biome with this uh, pipe button. And pipe button is just not being enough. So we need our stun button. And tomorrow we are going to be fighting the uh, second horde in the winter biome. I think it's going to be crazy, man. Uh, judging by the total of uh, feral zombies that we are getting in the winter biome. Oh my god, I, I don't know, man. It's going to be crazy. Almost, I feel like the militias might come. Maybe, maybe not. We'll see, man. Two more, ten percent more damage to coyotes. I'll read that. All right, let us talk about the uh, my adventures of the surgery, man. Holy crap! Yeah, it was a very fast decision, but uh, I explained in our in my uh, previous video that this uh, strabismus. I started developing this strabismus, which is the lazy eye, starting from age of 25. And uh, I've had this for like uh, a decade, almost a decade. I started having double vision and man, that that thing just, uh, how can I put this word? It disabled me to doing a lot of stuff in life. So playing some sports or like driving a car, watching movies and TVs and everything. Like, the, if the object becomes like one meter or three feet away, you know, approximately three feet away from me, I start to see it uh, a double. Because I was uh, seeing it a double, uh, my brain was, uh, you know, working very hard to figure out what the heck's going on, and my eyes were not really coordinating with each other. And man, it was just awful, man. The uh, lazy eye, the strabismus, have uh, reached to the point that uh, the, you know, I can finally correct it with surgery. The only way to correct it is only surgery, according to the doctor. So, uh, you know, I got the surgery. Now I can see it perfectly, man. Oh my God. Oh my God. I miss this feeling. It's just, I'm so happy to, you know, just see things normally again, man. Functioning normally, or just to have that normal function is a blessing. That's, that's just what I understood or felt <laughs> and the doctor said that um, right after the surgery you know i i got back home uh after a few hours what the heck was that oh lady morning so uh, in the morning i got into the surgery and i i was in the hospital for a few hours and then i got back home right after i get back home i felt like shit because where the hell is that town let's uh Let's not get lost, man. Oh, <laughs> yeah, I got back home. I felt like shit because the, you know, the local anesthesia and everything. I guess I think it's about that, but 
The doctor said that um, before you go to sleep, I should uh, take off the bandage of my eyes and uh, apply some you know, eye drops and everything. And then, and then I can go to sleep. And then doctor warned me, man. The doctor said, whatever you do, do not look into mirror. mirror. No matter what you do, do not do that. And I was like, I was puzzled. Um, I mean, why? Why? And the doctor said that, you know, your eyes are going to be very bloody. And, uh, you know, some people get shocked seeing their eyes being all that bloody and everything. And it's just horrible. And me, you know, who uh, kills zombos uh, for the living. <laughs> I was like, all right, I, I, I'm definitely going to be seeing it the mirror and uh, right after i took off my bandage i actually you know saw my eye in the mirror and uh, it reminded me of like i it almost looked like i got a zombie infection virus or something but it was all right man and then uh, you know i went to bed i wasn't feeling quite well but i just went to bed so right after that i can use my eyes immediately you know if i just get up the bandage and i can start using my eyes right away i noticed that my double vision gone and in the morning i went out my home i think we're arriving at the town maybe i think should we should be i mean our marker was uh, almost there so yeah i had a big smile on my face just walking around seeing things like everything looked very you know sharp and uh, kind of like 3d because, you know, because of the double vision, I lost the uh, depth of perception. But now with the normal vision, I regained it. So everything kind of looked 3D, man. And then, uh, you know, I started enjoying. I uh, started watching TV, which I didn't do it for a long time. And also, to uh, celebrate my eye getting corrected, I bought myself this. My cat hair. I always wanted to play some games on the controller, on the TV, man. Just uh, sit on my couch, laid back, and, you know, just relax and play some game. And, you know, just watch some Netflix and stuff like that. And I did all those, man. Give me a second. I'm back. So, I also, I played uh, quite a bit of this. Uh, I'm sure you guys know. I mean, the my audience is almost around the same age as me, but... For those who don't know, this is uh, Sega. I bought this like uh, also many years ago, but I just couldn't enjoy playing it because of I was uh, seeing with the double vision, you know, the TV. So unless I'm like, you know, really close with the TV, I, w I really wasn't really able to play that. So I also played some old school games as well, man. I grew up in the Sega, Sega Nintendo er era. Man, it was good times. The second day, I also, you know, I like driving cars. I like cars and, and everything. Wait, is this? Oh, the town is actually there. Okay. I bought this, right? In order to buy this, I drove my car around because I just wanted to try driving car with normal vision. Previously, I avoided driving cars because it was an enjoyable experience, man. I was very... You know, afraid or how to say cautious not to like bump into someone because of having no depth of perception. And I drive drove my car with big smile on my face as well. Oh my god. Yeah, that was it. And uh I took uh like almost two weeks off. Yep, I think I took almost two weeks off. In the first week, there was still some stitches under my eyelid, so it was kind of like uncomfortable how to purify water. Oh my god. Yeah, this is good. In the first week, it was a little bit uncomfortable with the stitches underneath, but now I'm feeling completely well, man. The surgery was 100% a success, and I am on the way of uh, getting healed completely. I'm going to be having this uh, zombie eye for like another two or three weeks, but hey, man, it's all good now. I just wanted to talk about my experience and how I felt. Because, you know, how I wanted to share this feeling with man. Just, there's no word, man. I'm so happy. Hopefully this town is big enough, man. 
I kind of have a feeling that this is uh, similar to the first town that we, you know, went in, in terms of size. That's not a good news. I want to find a worker's tooth tool store, if possible. We do have a few skill points to spend. Let us put the one point into intellect and uh, let's put one point into cardio because we are doing a lot of running around. It's going to help us. This Dick Steiner is a small POI. This is pretty good POI to set up a home. It's all made out of concrete, easy to clear. Uh, there are going to be some zombos here, right? Oh, work is still to create. That's good. Hey. There we go. Let's do this. Oh, <laughs> man. It just feels great, man. Come on. Seven days to God. Come on. And guys, thank you guys so much for the, you know, kind words and all of your support and everything, man. You guys are just the best, man. I love my community. I saw a chicken. I need that. You're gonna be food for today. I want that book. That's good. This town is very, very similar to the first town that we were. I do see the desert biome. I mean, probably if we follow this road, we are gonna be reaching town in the desert biome right because it's it's the main road i don't want to do the shotgun messiah it's not gonna do us anything time is 11. Mm. i'm thinking maybe uh go and follow this road and try to find the, the uh town and desert biome i mean this town was pretty small all right i have decided let us uh, follow this road and see where it leads probably to some town Oh, look at that. Is that a town? Oh my god. Oh, rabbit. <laughs> man, yeah, I had to smile, man. I had to smile on my face. Oh, look at that. An airdrop. Hey, let's get that airdrop, man. Let's get that airdrop first. And then we'll get this town. So what I'm thinking is that um, if it's going to be night... If it turns to night when we are exploring this town, I'm gonna stay the night in this town and then we are gonna come back to our home tomorrow to take on the horde. But I think it's better for us to get the uh, airdrop right now. Because I don't wanna, you know, go there and get the airdrop and then come back home. It's gonna be a long way. Okay, what do we have? Come on! Wrench! Or... All right, let's go back. Let's open this up. Magnum Enforcer, Night Stalker, Treasure Volume, Armored Up Book. Describe this on the way. Real quick. Don't need to grab everything. Here we are at the uh, desert town that we just saw. This town looks okay ish size. Let's see. Ingunner, just read that. Snake. I guess I'll take you. 62 meat. That's gonna be more than enough to last for today and tomorrow. Hey! Jim Binky! What's up, man? Long time no see. <laughs> I have a good feeling about this town. Decent size. I mean, in towns like this, there's usually one working steel tool store or up on pills store or a bigger pass and gas store usually it oh god no. okay so this is this does have a uh, pop and pills but no working stiff tool yeah this town is a uh, quite a big town man i think this is a uh, proper full-size town except uh i don't really see scry scrapers oh my goodness jim's gun fortress Maggie's Corner. Hmm. Unfortunately, I don't really see a working steel tool store around there. There is a part of the town I, that I haven't really checked in that direction. So let us go there and uh, if we don't find any working steel tool crate, it's alright man. Let's just pick one POI and loot that. 
It's getting late, uh, yeah, and probably we're gonna be staying the night in this town today. Or is it a good idea? I don't think we can cook food. And uh, I did not bring my grill, which was a mistake. We might uh, need to run back home, actually. Hmm. <laughs> Unfortunately, yep, no working still to store here. It's fine. Oh my god, that's a lot of dogs right there. One down. Dogs, I mean birds. Hey. That. Ah, there are gonna be one zombo right there. Or two. Big Mama is right there as well. Hey, Mama. Hell yeah, man. This stand baton is way different, man. Way big upgrade. Are right, nothing lootable around here. Let's get the chair. And let's get inside. Let's quickly do this. Hey. Maybe sneak damage. There. Anybody here? Nope. Waking up some zombies. Nothing there. Hey! There. Where's the main stash? Oh! Here we go. Two zombos. Lady in the red and Mo. There. It's clear, man. Uh, purse, uh, not gonna loot that. We're not gonna be getting anything. Robotics part. This is the main stash. Lumberjack outfit, okay. A few first aid bandage, that's good. And uh, no crate here, unfortunate. Uh, let us check out the other rooms. The bookcase here. Tech planet, I'll read that. Anything here? Nightstand. Why do I hear multiple number of zombos? Don't tell me that this is a freaking wandering horde. Oh, it is. Gosh, darn it. Oh my god, what the heck is going on? Hey. Oh, there's loot back. Thanks. The wandering horde is done. All right, what do we have here? Armor top book, 43 9 mils. I'll take that. I mean, I feel like we have done very little today. Only one small POI. Uh, not counting the fact that we are fighting a bunch of zombos. On randomly. Oh, Ooh, the Repon Residence is kind of good POI for to find some uh, books. The Brett Residence. I'm gonna do this uh, Repon Residence. Let us uh, do this POI and uh, go back home, man. I don't think we need. Uh, it's a good idea for us to stay here. Put the hatch right there. Look at that. Some bookcases right away. Read that. Get this. Get that as well. There's gonna be a big boy right there. Hey. Yep. Come here. I'm gonna use the baton for the big boy. I did bring my uh, repair kits just in case. There you go, big boy is down. God damn it. Then baton, man. Hey, take planet book. This does have a few ammo pile. No, right? Yep. Waking up some zombos somewhere. Hey. Let's try to do this as fast as possible and uh, get the hell out of here. Oh, there's a bookshelf, which is empty. And that's about it. If I remember remember correctly, there's a zombo right there. Hello. There's a bo another bookcase right there. Look at that. Let's put this here. I know there's gonna be a dog. The book pile. That just tool, I'll read that. Get the chair. We are kinda getting encumbered, which is not good. Hey, you guys, wake up. Where's the dog?
Ooh, getting one shot it. Anybody here? Yep. Let's get the hell out of here. I, I saw someone. I mean, I heard someone. Oh, big mama. Apply a bleed damage. Anything here? Nope. Nothing here lootable as well. Some chair here. Oh god, where's the dog? Yep. And uh, nothing lootable here as well. Kitchen? Nope, nothing. Let's go down. Oh my god! Holy shit! Oh my god damn it! Woo! I didn't hear the zombo man. Let's get some pipe and repair our pipe weapon. There we go. And here's the main stash with the few zombos. Hey, wake up! Oh shit. Oh, one shot it. There were a few girl zombos. There you go. Mm. <laughs> Hell yeah, man. Okay, one working stiff tool crate right here. We do have uh, lock picks. Let's try this. Come on, open up. Nope. Only two lock picks remaining. Only one. Come on, man. I really don't want to beat this. I just want to go back home. Oh my god, nice. What do we have? Oh, hunting knife. Read all these. Helmet light mod. And I would prefer... Uh, I mean, purifying, purifying mod. I don't really need that right now. Vehicle book. Only one more book for us to learn how to craft the mini bike. Come on. Ooh, another stun button. That's good, man. Now we can uh, use this stun button. No longer encumbered. Let's get the hell out of here. Let's go back home. Unfortunate, man. We did uh, visit uh, three new towns in two days. But we did not find any working stiff tool store. It's okay. Tomorrow, uh, since we have found this uh, stun button, I guess we could try and... Uh, do some POIs in the winter biome. Let us go to the first town, our first home, and then stay the night there. I don't want to risk going so far during the night. There we go, freaking barrel. Oh my god, come on. Hey, let's stay the night in our first horde base. Anyways, I'm gonna end the episode right here. Thank you guys so much for watching. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Have a great day and peace.